Next question is from Jamil A144. Why does my grip struggle on pull-ups but not on deadlifts? That's an interesting question. I don't know. Do you guys feel when, when you guys do pull-ups, you, your grip feels stronger or weaker than when it would, would do deadlifts? Yeah, I don't know if it's um, – I I don't know if I – I've heard this before. Like this has been something that like uh, somebody that I know was like very good at deadlifting but like had a hard time with the actual grip and, and had a harder time with pull-ups than they did deadlifts, which – to me, it was crazy because it was like they were at least doing four, four fifty, you know, pulling off the ground, but then had a hard time like holding on, uh, you know, in a vertical position. So I was actually curious to hear your guys' answers on this, uh, whether like it's it's a difference in grip, uh, you know, from the bar, like what kind of techniques they're using with that. I mean, it's really not that much different yeah, though, as I, far as I, how how you grip and you know, I God, that's weird to me, right? Like, well, I would imagine. So think of the position, right? If you have tight. <laughs> Uh, if you're if you're tight in the upper body, and especially with shoulder mobility, and you're in this kind of stretched overhead position where you're hanging, mm -hmm. that might compromise your grip, right? Mm. Because not only you're trying to grip, but you're so tight and you're keeping everything tense, you might lose some strength. In uh, your grip. I think that's a good guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it doesn't. So it doesn't make sense Pretty to me. Logical. Like if you were if you're able to deadlift uh, significantly more than your body weight, right? So if you weigh 200 pounds and you're deadlifting 400, mm -hmm. it would be weird to your grip to go out unless something like what you just said. Mm -hmm. You have really tight lats, tight shoulders. And then in that stretch position, you're completely yeah. stretched out, so you're weaker. Well, this is where I would think, you know, having that lockout position and doing like an overhead carry would really start help, you know, building up strength and stability in that position to, to then feel more comfortable and yeah. uh, stable. Uh, maybe maybe it's a lack of stability. Also, I'll say this. This does highlight something that is, uh, is true, and it's also very interesting, and that is uh, how specific strength can be. You can yeah. do... Two movements that look very similar and be excellent in one and not so good in the other one. I'll give you an example, right? If you do like a bench press with a barbell versus a dumbbell flat press, they both look almost identical. They really do. You're, it's a very similar movement. You're on a flat bench. You're pressing up. But I've known people who could bench press tremendous, tremendous amounts of weight with a barbell and handle very – they can't go very heavy at all mm -hmm. with dumbbells. And then I've seen vice versa. I've seen people with dumbbells – be able to handle a lot of weight, and then when they grab the barbell, it it doesn't make any sense uh, in terms of how much you know more they can or or they can't lift. So strength can be very very specific. Uh, a lot of strength isn't just the muscle, right? So the muscle's involved. It's contracting. It's holding. It's lifting. But a lot of strength has to do with technique and skill. There's a lot of skill involved with lifting. For example, if you practice squats all the time and you get really really good at squats, and then let's say you lose. Uh, access to a barbell squat, uh, but you can do all these other leg exercises. You don't lose any size uh, in your quads and your hamstrings and your glutes. Um, on an individual basis, the muscles remain just as strong. When you finally, after a few months, go back under a barbell, you'll probably still be weaker uh, with your squats because you haven't practiced the skill. So there's that specificity that right. is, uh, is, is You're pretty just interesting. You're familiar with that uh, to position. Totally. So if you want to get a stronger grip in the pull-up position, the best thing you could do is practice your grip mm -hmm. in the pull-up position, not in any other position.